Welcome to Tech Primers. In this video, we are going to see what is Node, what is NPM, and how these are the new things in the web technology, right? So, if you notice previously, we would have used a web application, right? We would have created a J2W application, we would have created a JSP servlet and stuff like that. We would have created a HTML page, and uh, we used to use JavaScript for validations only, and then we used to write the backend in uh, Java code, right? So those things have, if you see, uh, if you had seen the growth of the technology, those things have changed in the recent times. And um, JavaScript is now becoming not only the client-side programming language, but also the server-side programming language as well. So let's see what is this node and how is it related to JavaScript. So if you basically see node, node the name itself suggests it's Node.js. Okay, node is basically a JavaScript runtime server, okay, which is built on the Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. So if you see here the Chrome browser, it has a V8 JavaScript engine with which the browser uh, runs the JavaScript uh, files and all. So Node uses the same thing. So the Node.js or Node.js uses the Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine for running your JavaScript code. So basically you don't need a browser to run the code. So in general what we do is we write, we used to write validation sometime some like maybe 10 years ago or 5 years ago right so we used to write uh, validations only in the html page and these are run only on the browser so basically inside the browser you have a javascript engine right so because these are um, java code right so it needs a, a, a runtime environment so basically chrome uses v8 javascript engine so node.js uses the same chrome's v8 javascript engine to run the javascript code so basically you can write a server code in javascript itself right so that is the new thing so no with the node js you can write javascript code on the server side okay you don't have to write only the client side code okay you don't have to do only validations in javascript so you can do all types of operations on the server side so basically this node js will act as a rest server or something and then you can access the uh, endpoints via some http um, urls from the angular or any other web application so any other web uh, framework or library from there you can directly hit the http url and then this backend url can be in node.js it's not necessary that okay you have to write it in a particular language you have to write it only in java or you have to write it only in python or perl or something you can write it in any language and node.js is another language so node.js is going to be a like a server and you can write javascript code in that okay and you can access that from your browser or from the client side basically so we will uh, see a small program uh, with node.js implemented from the server side and uh, we'll see how to do that so before getting into uh, the node.js right we need to know about npm so in java if you had worked with java right you would have known about maven so maven is a build tool right so and also it has a maven repository basically so basically you have a repository where all the jars are there right so we go to the repository and uh, pull all the jars which we need for our project so same way for a javascript to function we have lots of jars which are developed by open source community and uh, other companies which are contributing these to these open source communities right so they need a common repository right so that is why npm was created so npm is nothing but node package manager so this is going to manage all the packages for the node uh, node application so basically any javascript application so npm will host all the uh, artifacts for the javascript related stuff so all the ui and web related stuff will be inside npm and you can use npm to pull that out and then you can use it in a node.js project so we are going to see how to create a simple node.js project so for that we need to use node we need to use npm basically okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to say so let's see what versions these are running in right so currently i have i don't have any latest version but i have npm and node installed so if you see here these are both are separate installations okay so node.js you can download them from the website here if you notice here you can download the latest version of node here and also the npm as well okay you can download that so I have these versions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, I'm just going to create a package called node example. Okay. And I'm going to go to node example. Just going to say clear. Okay. So if you notice here, I'm inside the node, node example package. So I'm going to create my 
package so i'm going to i need the basic skeleton stuff right so i'll say npm in it okay when i initialize the npm project it is going to ask me some uh, predefined uh, variables which i need to set so it is a command line interface so if you notice here it is asking me what is the name of the project i'm saying node 1 and it is asking me what is the version i'll say 1.0 why will i say 1.0.0 i'll just say 1.0 okay but it is it is not allowing me because npm has a naming convention for the versions okay it can have three levels of versioning system so that is why if you notice here if, even if i give 1.0 it did not allow me so i'll say okay i'll retain it okay in the description i can say a simple hello world program okay so the entry point so basically whenever uh, whenever you start your server you need an entry point right in java we have some main methods public static void main and that gets started so same way in javascript you have to provide an entry point so in this case we'll provide the entry point as index.js so by default it is suggesting me index.js index i'm going to say okay retain it so test command so if there are tests right written in your javascript so you can write javascript tests as well so what is the command which you will be giving so what is the profile or task name which you will be giving like may when you run some task called test so same way for test it is asking so right now we are not going to do any test so i'll just skip that part same way what is the git repository so basically every uh, uh, project in npm is all like most of the time it's all in git so it's all open source right if you notice all the uh, git uh, npm uh, libraries are all open source so anybody can use it anybody is free to use it so i'm not going to give any git repository for now uh, and then you have some keywords which you can say i'll just say hello hyphen world just for simplicity and then it's asking for the uh, author i'll just say tech primers okay and then it's asking me the license i'm not going to say anything so once i am done it's going to create something called package.json okay so package.json is similar to the pom.xml in maven world okay so based on this package.json your npm is going to behave okay so if you notice uh, the package.json is present here so i'll just uh, create the touch i'll just say touch index.js file so that um, i'll open uh, the project in the id so i have visual studio code here okay i'm using visual studio code to open the web project so i'm just saying open just say node example okay so i'm just opening the node example project if you notice here the index.js is empty and if you notice package.json is having the data so whatever we gave here whatever we gave as a part of our uh, variable right so i'll just zoom this a little bit for you to see okay now i think it's better i'll just zoom it again okay so if you notice here the package or json has the name the version number the description whatever we gave the main class or the entry point and then it, there is something called scripts so when you run your npm command you can basically configure stuff here so you can configure test or you can configure any custom task or the script which you want to run okay keywords are nothing but how do you identify your um, package based on the keywords so nothing else author as you know it's just author name and licensing what type of licensing this particular package is related to okay so let's go ahead and create our uh, index or JSON, index or JS, right so I'll just uh, paste the code which I already have. So what this is doing is it, this is just a basic um, uh, HTTP server. So if you, uh, as I said earlier, right? So in Node.js is going to be bringing the server and you can write code in JavaScript. So if you notice here, this is just basic JavaScript. So what I'm doing here is I'm saying that I need the package called HTTP, okay? Because I need to expose this Node.js server as a HTTP server, okay? So that's what I'm doing here. If you notice, I'm just saying get that particular module and I need to create a server. Okay. Once I create the server, listen to the port 8081. Okay. I'm just saying listen to the port 8081. And I'm saying if if somebody listens to that port, what should I do? So if you notice here, this is just the callback. If you see here, this is just the callback for whoever, uh, whoever hits the port 8081. Okay. So I, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, sending the response back. So basically request and response is what we get. Okay. So I'm just saying that response right back as 200. So I'm just saying that, okay, make this a successful response. 
okay and i i'm saying that okay do a hello world i'm just saying hello youtube for our reference right so i'm just going to return hello youtube and in the console i'm just printing some log so that we can see if this is started or not whether our node server is started or not okay so how to start the node server so this is the basic program to just return hello youtube for the rest endpoint 8081 on the port 8081 with the local local host okay because we are running in in local and then i have just uh, a console log. so how do we run this right so we can say npm start so npm start is a generic start command so what happens is it will start the um, it will start the uh, whole server but if you notice here in the scripts we have not mentioned that right if you notice here what we have done is we have not mentioned that npm start right if you instead we can mention that npm start inside the npm start what we are going to do is we are going to say node and then we are going to pass the index.js right so i'm just going to save this file and i'm going to run the same command again npm start if you notice here it is doing the same thing okay but it is saying uh, failed to uh, do, 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 do. this is because we have not done npm installation so i'm going to say npm install so npm install is like maven install uh, so what it will do it will try to create uh, dependency so if i had any dependencies right now i don't have any dependency in my package or json but if i had a dependency here it will try to download those uh, particular um, modules from the npm repository okay so i've just done the npm install so that should be able to uh, get all the stuff which we didn't have so i'm just saying uh, node index or json why is it failing i think there is a error. why is it throw error unhandled error event so i think this port is already running so i'm just running something on the port already so what we can do is we can change this to a different port so what i'll do is i'll just change this to 8082 okay and i'll just change it here let's run this again so basically npm start should do the trick but i i think this is because of the port port issue right if you notice here i just did a npm start okay and it is showing me the log server running at 8082 so this this basically means that my server is running on the port 8082 so whatever port i did right whatever port i changed it is running there now let's hit that port from the browser right so i'll just say 8082 okay if I hit this 8082, if you notice here, hello YouTube has come. Whatever we printed here in the uh, in the response here, so we just said response on date, it is now returning the response for us. Okay, so this is how you start a Node.js server. So basically, if you notice here, this is a JavaScript code. However, this is acting like a server for us, and I, I am accessing from a browser using a port number because this node.js is running on that particular port number and I am getting the response back here. So basically node.js is uh, recently been uh, famous because lots of uh, companies are using node.js because it's very faster than um, other uh, traditional application servers like app, Apache, Tomcat and other stuff. right? So this is much faster because if you notice uh, the website right, node.js so if you notice here, what they are saying is Node.js uses an event-driven non-blocking I.O. model that makes it lightweight and efficient. So Node.js uses the package system NPM and it is largest ecosystem of the open source libraries in the world. So that is why everyone is using Node.js right now. If you see Walmart is using uh, eight instances of Node.js or maybe more now, I don't know how many they use. So they have Node.js instances. So whenever you hit their website, the website request will be routed to the Node.js instance. From the Node.js, it can internally go to Java processes, but Node.js is going to be the first part or the first line of uh, 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 the entry point for any request coming into the Walmart Walmart server. So um, that that is the usage of Node.js in the real time environments because Node.js is very faster, lightweight, and you can write um, lots of stuff with the same JavaScript code which you wrote in the UI side. Okay, it's not that okay you have to write a JavaScript java java backend only so you can write anything in javascript as well using the node.js so there are lots of other engines uh, which are coming up uh, with similar kind of concept but node.js is using the chrome's v8 javascript engine and um, most of the angular apps and everything which uh, which we use we we use this node for uh, local testing basically if you want to test it locally 
so why do you need to start your apache server right so let's say i i'm running locally from my uh, intellij or the visual studio code right uh, so why do i need a heavyweight server if you notice here this is so lightweight that okay it just started immediately and i didn't do anything so it didn't do so many things it's very lightweight and i'm able to do, now get it up and running okay so that is why uh, people use node js it is very lightweight and it is very powerful and it is very fast so people use that as a entry point and then from there it, they branch out to java processes internally but uh, that is the um, usage of uh, node js okay in the subsequent videos um, we will be seeing how to create angular applications but i just wanted to give a heads up of what is node js what is npm because we will be using these terms uh, in the angular world so when we are uh, doing web applications you would have generally seen that uh, we use npm install and then you give something the reason for that is npm is like maven so npm is a repository for all the open source libraries so people go ahead and pull those libraries from the npm uh, repository and then use it so internally in some companies they use their own library own uh, repository so like how we have for uh, maven people would have used uh, this um, nexus repositories right in company so same way for npm as well you can use your own repository and inside the company you can use um, from that repositories so npm is just uh, for the external world but internally uh, an organization can have their own repository and you can get the libraries whatever you require only from that repository so that is how uh, the uh, big big uh, enterprise companies work if they don't want to get everything from the uh, open source community they just uh, take it from the open source community they do some scans on them on the um, uh, node modules whether there are any vulnerabilities or something and then they keep it internally so that people can use it internally okay so that is the node js and npm so that is the relationship between what is npm and what is node js so um, that's it for this particular video if you like the video go ahead and like it if you have any questions go ahead and put that in the comment section below so uh, if you want to uh, see more videos on web development go ahead and subscribe for the channel um, that's it for this video meet you again in the next video thank you